Hi, I'm Professor Figgy, and this is Kids Lab. Silly Putty is a really fun toy to play with. That's because it's viscoelastic. You can stretch it apart, shape it, mash it back together. If you apply too much force to it, it breaks in half. You can even bounce it. And it's a really cool toy already. But did you know that you can make it magnetic? And I'm going to show you how. But before we do that, we need to talk a little bit about magnets and magnetism. Now, a magnet is anything that exhibits a magnetic field. And magnets attract certain materials. Not all materials, mostly metals and things that contain iron, cobalt, and nickel. All magnets exhibit two poles, a north pole and a south pole. Sort of like the Earth, which is in itself a giant magnet and has a large magnetic field around it. This magnet here, if I break it apart, now I have two north poles and two south poles. Two north poles will repel one another. See, I can't even get them together. But a north and a south pole will attract one another together. Now, I'm going to show you how to make your Silly Putty react to a magnet. You want to take your Silly Putty and work it in your hands to get it really warm and flexible. And then mash it into a sheet. And now we're going to be working with iron oxide, which is this black pigment here. Iron oxide is actually called magnetite. It's one of the most magnetic materials on the Earth. You want to wear gloves to keep it from staining your hands. You're going to take your iron oxide and slowly, a teaspoon at a time, you're going to add it to your putty and then just knead it in to the putty like so. And you're going to need to do this a number of times to get a lot of the iron oxide into the putty to make it very, very magnetic. Add a little bit more. All in all, you'll use about a tablespoon of iron oxide to about two of those small eggs of Silly Putty. OK. Once your iron oxide powder is really incorporated into the putty, it's time to experiment with magnets. Now, I've taken our magnetic Silly Putty here, and I've stretched it out into a long, thin snake. And if you watch with your magnet here, you can totally make it move. But what's really fun is if you ball all of your Silly Putty back up and you take one of these very strong, what are called neodymium magnets, and you set it on top of your putty, like so, over time, the magnet will pull itself down into the putty and become entirely engulfed. Isn't that so cool? So let's review what we learned today. Magnetism is an invisible force that attracts only certain metals, those that contain things like iron, nickel, and cobalt. All magnets have a north and a south pole. Like poles repel one another, and opposite poles attract. So thank you so much for joining me in the lab today. What are you doing in your lab? Share your photos and videos with me on Facebook and Instagram. 